Thank you. My grandfather was a medical scientist. During my childhood, I frequently visited my grandfather's house to play. And sometimes I quietly creep into his library to gaze at his collection of intimidating medical volumes. And looking at those bookshelves, I was filled with admiration and respect for my grandfather. My grandfather loved me, and I loved him as well. The interaction with my grandfather told me a wide variety of things, such as the importance of academic studies and the significance of our dignified communication. On the day, I decided to enter university and major in engineering. My grandfather had a stroke. Prior to that day, my grandfather was a uh, very energetic man who told a fascinating stories. But my grandfather suddenly unable to move his arms and the legs and to talk satisfactorily. Although the medical doctors in the hospital tried very hard, but unfortunately, he never recovered. After suffering with illnesses for several years, my grandfather finally passed away. Later, about one billion people in the world are suffering from the same sort of impairment that my grandfather suffered from. If I can find a method of curing the diseases my, that my grandfather had, I could bring hope to many people throughout the world. So as I entered the university, I decided to try to use the power of technology to help people like my grandfather regain their abilities and independence. Unlike a scraped knee that he is on its own, it is thought that the nerves in our brain do not regenerate once they are damaged. Therefore, when the nerves that extend from our brains to our muscles are destroyed through a stroke or a spinal cord injury, we are confronted with a lifetime of disability and a difficulty. So in such a situation, what kind of, what kind of solution can technology bring? The latest approach to helping people with motor disorders is named brain mass interface or brain computer interface. It's a technology that reads a person's intention directly from their brain activities, and it uses, as, and it uses that information to control a machine. In other words, instead of replacing the damaged nerve that cannot be healed, it's a cyborg technology where the machine takes over the loss function. Of course, such a technology could become a highly effective solution for people suffering with, with the extremely severe, serious movement disorders. However, it's replacing parts of our brain, our body by the machine, the only solution for curing the motor paralysis. I wanted to help to heal the brain itself. Similar to people are growing and learning through communication with other people, by the brain interacting with the machine, the brain relearns its lost function. This machine brings such a remarkable effect that it led me to a new idea. This is a brain-computer interface that we invented. The brain activity that relates to the movements are read by this headset, and the electric equipment stimulates the paralyzed hand. When the brain has a correct activity pattern, it operates the machine. Since it's designed to cause rich sensation of motion, the brain studies the method of movement, moving the paralyzed hand and restores the activity gradually. This is a brain functional image from a man who could not move his hand due to a stroke. Regardless of his thought of hand movements, the brain could not change its activity, and it was in a silent state. Even in such a situation, when training with our device, 
the brain's activity will begin again within about two weeks to one month. This device has been tested in collaboration with the Faculty of Medicine in my university, and about half of the 45 stroke patients have a clear recovery effect. Although the recovering hand is still awkward, the above-mentioned patients show some signs of recovering effect. This is significant because these stroke patients are disabled more than one year, and it was assumed that any recovery was impossible. Thanks to our technology, hope still lingers. And recently, we have begun a more rigorous medical verification in a mouth center clinical trial. Uh, the research began from a field of technology, and now we are beginning to see its positive impact on people suffering with the effect of stroke. I'm deeply honored to combine technology to medical research in dedication to my diseased grandfather, who was a medical scientist and a victim of stroke. I sincerely wish that our technology will reach to the hand of people who require a machine to cure the brain. Thank you very much.